planet, our home, thrives on this delicate balance, a rich web of life. For communities across the globe, and here in the heart of Kenya, biodiversity is not just scenery. It's the very foundation of livelihoods, culture, and sustainable development. The Biodev 2030 project seeks to integrate biodiversity issues into economic development. And we do this by looking at the threats to biodiversity without us taking care of different aspects of biodiversity, we will not even be able to resolve issues such as climate change. Indeed, this crucial balance is under threat. Implemented by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, in Kenya, the Biodev 2030 project is an initiative driven by a global commitment and is working to change that. Its goal is ambitious yet crucial to reduce biodiversity loss by 2030 and encourage resilient economies in harmony with nature. Kajiado County, a land of breathtaking beauty and vibrant Ma culture, stands at a crossroads. It's a region where unique wildlife and traditional livestock herding have coexisted for generations. Yet, Kajiado faces mounting pressures. Droughts escalate human-wildlife conflict in critical wildlife corridors, where both communities and wildlife suffer. Deforestation for charcoal further degrades the land, destroying habitats and accelerating degradation. Worse yet, weeds like Ipomea spread quickly, choking out local vegetation disrupting ecosystem dynamics, reducing biodiversity, and diminishing available forage. The voices of Kajiado are essential to finding solutions. We hear from men, women, and youth alongside project leaders as they share their experiences and hopes for a sustainable future. At the Kikesen River Conservancy, communities are on the front line. Community leaders explain how they directly observe environmental changes and actively work to combat threats, striving to coexist with wildlife. The climate change has really affected us. So, the community has come to say, let's conserve this environment. To conserve it, to naturally, then the environment has affected us really to affect. Community action shines in Iloirero. Facing invasive Ipomea, 70 determined women, with support from the Africa Conservation Center, cleared the plants and started a thriving grass seed bank. This is the first time I was born. I was born in the first time I was born in the Further south, Matonyok, meaning Let's try, in Ma, pioneers sustainable agroforestry. We learn from community members and project leads how they restore landscapes and improve food security. At Kuku Group Ranch, Just Dig Its Earth Smiles demonstrate the power of simple solutions. These crescent-shaped buns capture precious rainwater, and barren land now sprouts fresh grass, restoring a critical wildlife corridor. These areas before intervention like this are done, we must involve the community that we need to give the, this area a minimum of three years to at least get time to regenerate. When an area is left uh, undisturbed, the lot of wildlife will be coming in slowly by slowly. Phase one of Biodev 2030 identified the critical challenges facing biodiversity in the landscape as well as potential actions to restore biodiversity through voluntary commitments. Now, phase two builds on those lessons. 
advocating for policy reforms and mobilizing resources for nature positive solutions. Every step of the way we need to ensure that we are working with the government and apart from that we are enabling the communities themselves to set up structures that are going to enable them continue to implement the solutions that have been developed together. The journey towards a sustainable future is a collective one. In Kajiado, the commitment to live in harmony with nature is not just a dream, but a reality taking root, promising a healthier planet and prosperous communities for generations to come.